Okay, we are broadcasting. And uh, the channel is live. Oops, hang on. I'm trying to tweet and talk at the same time. Hello, everyone. Uh, is, it, is it working? My stream is not. Uh, there we go. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and welcome to Watching 100 Movies. I'm Christiana Ellis. And I am Mike Mateen. And tonight we are talking about Muppet movies. Yay! Got to get to do your the arm flail. Yep. Uh, I considered also asking you if it was time to start the music, or, for example, time to light the lights. Well, I don't remember all the words. I know, I know what you're talking about, but I don't. I can't echo them back, unfortunately. Well, regardless, it's time to get things started for watching 100 movies tonight. Uh, so it was my idea that we do the Muppets just because I had been thinking about them recently and felt like revisiting a lot of the Muppet movies. But uh, um, I guess just you know, coming from that place, I think. Uh, I can establish right off the bat that I am, I wouldn't say I'm a Muppet obsessive, but I've seen all of the movies and I like them and I, I enjoy the Muppets. I'm a Muppet fan. So uh, what would your background be for the Muppets? I am aware of the Muppets. Mm -hmm. I have watched the Muppets. I probably watched the TV show when I was a kid mm -hmm. with my family um i had seen some of the earlier movies when i was younger but i was looking i'd like for example i had not actually seen muppet treasure island or muppets most wanted mm -hmm. um before and then i looked and i probably haven't seen any of the ones in between i think i've seen i'd seen the original muppet movie mm -hmm. i had seen the muppets take manhattan mm -hmm. Well, and then uh, the Muppet, uh, Great Muppet Caper was after that. I think I've seen that one. Yeah. And then um, Muppet uh, Christmas Carol was after that. I've seen that, yes. Muppet Treasure Island, Muppets from seen. Space. And then, of course, they uh, rebooted it again 12 years later with The Muppets. That's the one with Jason Segel and Amy Adams in it. Uh, and, then, that. and then, of course, The Muppets Most Wanted is the most recent theatrical uh, Muppets, although they've certainly had a couple of different television or streaming projects since then. Um, but those are, those are the movies, um, not counting the, you know, TV shows or the, uh, direct to video, uh, releases. There's been a bunch of things that have Muppets in it, obviously, cause there's also the Sesame Street and Fraggle Rock and et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Uh, but, uh, you know, the Muppets as in not merely the form of puppet marionette device that is being used, but also this specific cast of characters and so on. So uh, I guess you, you, you certainly didn't object <laughs> to, to doing a focus on it, but uh, as we discussed at the end of the last episode, that's, that's a lot of movies to talk about, eight, eight movies there. Uh, so we decided to narrow it primarily down to just three to kind of be a representative sampling. Although I confess that I did in fact rewatch all of them. So that's <laughs> on me, but uh, we went ahead and we decided to uh, get things started with the very first one, the Muppet movie, which came out in 1979. It uh, was made, uh, I believe midway through season three of the Muppets, the, you know, the Muppet show, the TV show. And so it was, you know, the Muppets had been established in the cultural identity, but certainly they were not as omnipresent as they, as they are today. Well, even omnipresent is maybe not the right word, but people know about the Muppets, right? You know, it's not like they're everywhere, but people know about them. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, the uh, the first Muppet movie, uh, directed by James Frawley, uh, produced, of course, by uh, Jim Henson, has all of the original 
uh, voice actors uh, or uh, performers because it shouldn't just say voice actor because it's actually the performer doing the, you know, the controlling the Muppet uh, as well, the Muppet character. 